Good morning, guys. So today we talked about something that was a little bit confusing. We talked about yesterday that that EA digraph can say E. Today we learned that it can make two other sounds. It can say E, eh, like in thr, ed, so like a short E, or it can also say A, like in st, ache, like a long A. So, and we learned that there's really no rule for us to follow. So sometimes we just have to try it and see if it sounds right, and then we might have to go back and fix it. So in our first word, what do you see? I see that EA, so I'm gonna go ahead and underline it. And which way do you think we should try first? Let's just try that long E that we learned yesterday, and if we have a silent A. So if I read it like that, it says gr eat. Greet, greet, does that sound right? No, okay. And also if you look, I've got the word b book behind it. So we can use that word to kind of help us to make sure Sure, it doesn't make sense. Greet book, does it make sense? All right, let's try it a different way. What if I underline it and I try it with the short E, silent A? Then it would be gret. Gret books? No. Let's try it the last way that we learned. And that was the silent E, long A. So gret. Great book? That makes sense. So in the word, this word great, it does the long A sound like in st, ache. So great, book, and then what's this word? You guys just know that one, don't you? But how would we code it? Is there a way to code it? No, it's one of those sight words, so we're just gonna circle it. Great, book, two, and then this last word. What are we gonna do to it? What do you see? I've got that EA, so I need to underline it. Now remember, it can be different ways that we can do this, okay? So let's think about this. The first word, way that we learned was the long E, silent A. Let's try it that word, way. Read. Is read a word? Yeah, let's see if it makes sense in that sentence. Great book to read. It makes sense, so that was the way we were supposed to code it. Remember, we could have tried it the other way, and if it didn't make sense, we can always go back and fix it, right? So great book to read. All right, right down here. We've got the EA again, okay? Let's go back and do the rest of the sentence so that we can try to read it with that to see if it makes sense, okay? So my first word, or my middle word right here, what do you see? I've got an A. That's in front of an N, so it's gonna be short. So, and, we just know that's a sight word too. And, and then over here, what do you see? Well, it's a longer word, so let's go ahead and find our verbs. I've got it. It's a longer word, so let's go ahead and find our vowels, okay? So I've got a U, and I've got an E, and I've got two consonants in between it. So I'm gonna break it apart between those consonants. Now here, my first syllable, I've got a U in front of a T, so that U is gonna be short. And then over here, I've got that ER letter combination, so what do I need to do? I've gotta arc them together, I gotta connect them together underneath. So now I have B, UT, but, and then over here I have T, ER, TER, BUTTER. So the rest of our sen sentence or phrase says, and butter. So we need to figure out which way that this EA is gonna to go to make it make sense in there, okay? So let's look. The first way that I can do it is the, the one that we did first, which is the long E, silent A. So br eed, breed and butter, does that make sense? No, all right, let's try it again. I can also remember make it a short E, silent A, br ed. Bread and butter, does that make sense? Yes, it does. So if you look, we have great book to read, bread and butter. Look at our three words that have that E-A. In this one, gr eight, it has the long A sound. In this one, gr eed, it has that long E sound. And in this one, gr ed, it has that short E sound. So we actually coded one of each of the words, okay? All right, I know that's confusing, but remember you can always go back and fix it if we say it and use the wrong vowel sound, okay? All right, you guys did an awesome job. Thank you.